My friends, the new world order is truly upon us. Things are moving quicker than I even thought they could. We published an article today that directly links to the Communist Party of China's official state-run media outlet with the headline, Communist Chinese Government Calls for Americans to be Disarmed. It actually tells Obama to use dictatorial powers to get our freedoms and to wage a war, a war against the Second Amendment. Now, when you realize that two years ago they were supposed to release the new Red Dawn and the communist Chinese government that's buying up our media put pressure on the producers to stop the film and re-edit it and reshoot it to make it North Koreans, when you realize that they're meddling in our internal affairs, this is a huge deal. And I'm going to get back to China and what they're doing in a moment. But when you add to this Piers Morgan and other foreigners on CNN, like Fareed Zarkaria, calling for the disarmament of the American people, it is insane. It is over the top where they're just throwing it in our face. Piers Morgan put out a tweet saying, look, I'm British. I'm superior to you. We've conquered America. And he's not joking. They're just throwing it all in our face. This is globalism. This is New World Order. It was Mao Zedong that said political power grows out of the barrel of a gun. He was the greatest mass murderer in history. They have public sports stadium executions in China, political dissidents. They sell their organs. Apple, run by the liberals, Al Gore and others, run the plants in China that build the Apple products where they have suicide nets around them and forced abortion. These liberals are not liberals. These are nasty authoritarians. And here's the news. Foreign governments like China and others are now saying, go for the guns, disarm them, wage a war against your people. Ladies and gentlemen, this is unprecedented because the UN treaty is coming up in two months and it openly states a civilian disarmament and Russia and China are supporting the disarmament of the American people and they're trying to get the Senate to ratify a treaty written in part by the communist Chinese and the authoritarian Russians. And now, Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, former head of the Treasury Department under Reagan, head of policy, he's been on RT, the Russian state-sponsored media, and they're supporting Obama disarming the American people. So the communist Chinese official news is calling for our disarmament. And the Russian sponsored news, state run to a certain extent, is calling for our disarmament. This is unprecedented. Here in the United States, you've got Fox Sports calling gun owners, Ku Klux Klan members. It's all happening. It's, it's, it's moving so quick. And, and as former congressman and current NRA board member Bob Barr said on my show today, he said it's like the Twilight Zone. He said this, th there should be congressional investigations. This is huge. Ladies and gentlemen, Russia would never allow anything like this. In fact, they arrest journalists that have been connected to the West. China would arrest you in a minute. But no, the United States is being colonized by the globalist, and they're using the Russians, the Chinese government, you name it, to bombard us with propaganda and give aid and comfort to Barack Obama, who is calling to ban physically our semi-automatics. This is the New World Order, UN Treaty, backed by the authoritarian systems of China, Russia, and others, calling for our disarmament involved in our lives. This is incredible. Now, remember, the Pentagon admits China is the number one military threat now. China has said that about the U.S., prepare for war with us. But the globalists have moved all the factories to China and are using China to be able to basically politically overthrow the United States and deindustrialize us. America is to be set up and sold out in the new world order. And a bunch of traitors in this country have gone along with it. Of course, China wants its number one military enemy that it's infiltrated to be disarmed. Of course it wants that. It was Admiral Yamamoto, the head of the Japanese Navy, that told the general staff, we can't invade the mainland of the U.S. via California because there'd be a gun behind every blade of grass. A gun behind every blade of grass. And now the globalists, this corporate combine with Russia, China, the U.N., our Senate, that's Democrat-run, along with traitor Republicans, is preparing to sign on to this. This is unbelievable. Get this out to everyone you know. The Drudge Report is linked to our article that links to the communist Chinese own statements. But we're going to have more articles coming out about RT 
and other foreign outlets calling to take our rights. Listen, I want to tell the Russians and the Chinese and everybody else something. You may have teamed up with the globalists, and there's been some Warsaw Pact deals made behind the scenes to help bring down America, but I'm here to tell you, the fact that you're using foreign manipulation to intervene is going to blow up in your face. And to the communist Chinese media and to the Russian media, you have declared war on my Second Amendment and my birthright, and I'm declaring war on you. If you continue this activity, I am going to push to have you removed off of cable systems in the United States so you can't engage in your sedition against our republic. We're going to take this country back. And any foreign agents that are here engaging in espionage will be arrested. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com. Now, America, the sleeping giant, awaken. The enemies think they're about to take us down in an electronic red dawn. It's time for Americans to resist them in the info war before it gets physical.